When an aircraft takes fire or faces structural failure mid-mission, survival depends not just on pilots, but on the crew that keeps wings alive. At 30,000 feet, a fractured wing isn't a repair. It is a race against time and gravity. Every second decides whether the bird returns home. In combat zones, quick repair teams known as Battle Damage Assessment and Repair, BDAR units deploy within minutes of emergency landings. They arrive carrying portable hydraulic jacks, titanium patch kits, rivet guns, and epoxy compounds, tools designed to save airframes under fire. First, engineers inspect the damage using thermal and ultrasonic scanners to identify cracks, punctures, and internal stress fractures invisible to the eye. Fuel lines are isolated, control surfaces locked, and damage panels secured with rapid cure composites capable of hardening within 15 minutes. In severe cases, temporary wing patches are bolted and bonded to redistribute aerodynamic loads until the aircraft can reach a forward repair base. Fighter jets often use pre-engineered battlefield repair kits with modular parts that can replace entire flaps or ailerons within an hour. Crews wear flame retardant suits and anti-static gloves as sparks fly, every repair taking place inches from explosive fuel cells. Once the patch is complete, a ground run begins. Engines spooling, wings flexing, stress gauges measuring whether the fix can survive takeoff thrust. If approved, the pilot performs a low-speed taxi, gradually increasing pressure, ready to abort if vibration or torque exceeds safe limits. Many wartime aircraft have flown home on one wing section, patched with nothing more than carbon fiber mesh and sheer determination. Every BDAR team works under a simple doctrine Restore combat capability, not perfection. A patched jet can fight another day. Scrap can't. Even in modern air bases, engineers rehearse these emergency procedures because battle damage never sends a warning before it strikes. When the skies grow hostile again, will tomorrow's aircraft still rely on human hands for emergency repair? Or will drones patch their own wings mid-flight?